Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about prokaryotic versus eukaryotic replication machinery. And our point of difference is based on which type of enzymes is used in prokaryote versus eukaryotes. So let's begin. In case of prokaryotes, since there is no nucleus, the replication starts in the origin of replication site and the replication bubble is expanded in the both sides. And that is how the replication process takes place inside the bacteria. So let's look at one side of the replication fork as shown here. So the first thing which is required for the replication is a helicase enzyme because these chromosomal DNA are pretty much intertwined so the it has to be relaxed topologically and helicase does those job. It helps to unwind the DNA and release the single strand from the, uh, the double stranded configuration. Now then gyrase is another important enzyme in this process. But the crucial ones are primase. Primase begins the process of replication extension by synthesizing small primers. Because replication cannot take place without the help of a primer. The polymerase enzyme can only extend a short primer. The primer synthesis reaction takes place with the help of primase enzyme. So it's crucial for the beginning of the replication. After that, there are single strand binding protein. The single strand binding protein binds to the single strand which are like uh, now unwind with the help of helicase. They keep the strands in an relaxed situation or they prevent the strand to intertwine with each other and that is the important function of single strand binding protein. Now the key polymerase enzyme is actually the complex of Pol3 and it has also beta clamp and a clamp loader complex. In a moment it would be clear how it is functioning but the overall function of this polymerase 3 is extending the 3 prime end of the primer which is synthesized by primase so the primer synthesis reaction takes place differently for two different strands one strand as you can see here the synthesis takes place pretty continuous it is called the leading strand in the other case the synthesis is discontinuous and takes place in several phases or in turns. So this second strand is known as the lagging strand and the lagging strand uh, replication is a bit different from the leading strand. Now let's look at the progression of the polymerase and try to understand how it is synthesizing. So when the polymerase is moving from 5' prime to 3' prime end it is synthesizing uh, or, or adding new DNTPs at the end of these growing strands. But the problem is, without the help of any guidance, it would fall off after synthesizing certain length. So the processivity of the RNA, uh, processivity of the DNA pol three would be very very low. In that situation, another important uh, complex, which is known as the beta clamp, and which is loaded in turn by the clamp loader, is actually pretty helpful. Because the beta clamp ensures that the processivity of the enzyme is pretty high and it can really process a lot at one time. That means it can really help in extension or polymerization reaction for a long stretch of time and with high level of proofreading. Now let's look at eukaryotic cells and try to appreciate the differences between a prokaryotic and eukaryotic replication machinery. So in case of eukaryotes, there are multiple sites of origin. So there are multiple origin of replication and each of these origin of replication is expanding in two direction and the bubble is formed and which is moving in two direction. So let's look at one side and in this situation as well, we have topoisomerase which take care about the topology of these DNA and make sure it does not intertwine it to each other. There are Pol alpha, which is very similar to the primase enzyme present in the prokaryotes. Pol alpha's job is to form primers, and these primers would actually be uh, the template, actually be the nucleating factor on which the RNA polymer is, on which the DNA polymer is. Sorry for that, on which the DNA polymer is is actually expanding. So the RPA proteins are pretty equivalent to the single cell uh, single strand binding protein and here the polymerase is also different key polymerases which are uh, taking part in expanding or extension stiff 
are the DNA Paul delta and DNA Paul epsilon. In case of eukaryotes, there is the beta clamp is actually known as PCNA. It's just the same type of machinery, but with a different name. And there is also a lagging strand and leading strand mechanism. And the leading strand synthesis takes place smoothly, whereas lagging strand synthesis takes place in steps, or I would say in phases. So that is the similarity between eukaryotic and prokaryotic replication. But the big diversity comes from the type of enzymes which are used in two of these cases. Actually, in eukaryotes, there are a lot of variety of polymerases, and there are different polymerases for mitochondrial DNA replication as well but about which I'm not going to discuss in this video. There would be a different video about that. So if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. It was a quick introductory video about that. So give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.